hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This week with the mini uh, Rolodex cards, we're going to, I'm going to try to do some watercolor painting on here. Now this is not watercolor paper. I have to be careful because I don't want to get too much water on here. It will make it wrinkly and crinkly. But I think once I get my base layer on and I let it dry, it'll be okay. Uh, so I want to welcome you today, and I think it's going to be, I think this is going to be fun. I also have my my gesso out because I may want to tone tone things down a little bit. So I also pulled that out. So I'd love to have you stick around. And for all of my uh, new subscribers, welcome. For everyone that is coming and has been coming back to join in on this fun. Um, thank you very much, and thank you to all of my uh, Patreon <coughs> members. Uh, so let's let's get started. I have my water here, and I'm just going to set this to the side because I don't want to get anything on it. Oh, and uh, what's new? What's new? Let's let's get this done first. I don't want to be talking too much. I haven't used my watercolors in a while. I pulled out a Sarah Renee Clark color cube card. This is number 151 and I really like these colors here. So I believe I have all the colors. Uh, I have a, I have this blue here. I have a, um, I have this blue here. Okay, I'm not going to necessarily use all these colors. I have a nice yellow. And then I kind of have this gray. Uh, let's see, that there. I don't have a really light, light blue, but I can I can work with that. So I'm just going to draw some of the blues out of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a guide. Let's take that top off. And let's see how this, how this goes. Um... Now, when you do watercolor and you do an abstract, you can do it one of two ways. You can get your color on here and then add your, your acrylic paints, or you can just start adding um, from here. And I want to decide on the blues I want to use. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Maybe a little bit of the darker. I think I'll use these three here. This is more of a turquoise. But you know what I think I will do first? I'm going to grab a scrap. I have a scrap envelope here. And let's just see. Let us, let us just see here. So we have this one here. Now these are a little bit metallic-y. And that's okay. That's what I want. So... So this one could actually go with this one here. All right. And you can see when you don't use a really good brush how the the um the little five, the bristles come out. These are just Okay, so now we have these two here. All right. So we have those. So we have these two right there. And then let's, this kind of looks like it has more purple in it. So let's try this one here. Okay, so I'm gonna go with these three here, okay? And again, I don't want to I don't want to use so much water that it's going to and I just want to kind of get a little bit of color on here and then I will have to let it let it dry and you can see where the card is starting to curl a little bit so 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a dryer, and I'm going to dry this a little bit. And I'm just going to go off camera because it is loud. I'll be right back. So I used my dryer and it came out rather well. I will take another card and I will adhere it to the back just to make it a little, uh, little more stable. So now I think I'm going to go over this again because I want it to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to just, let's put this here. Just get some of that water. This corner. Get these little fibers, the little bristle hairs off. And I do like this metallic color here. I haven't forgotten about the yellow. I just kind of want to get this all in here first. It's been so long since I've played with my paints. Okay, I'm going to dry this again. All right, so I dried it a second time. I like the way that's shimmery and shiny. I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm just getting some of the water off of here. I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow. This is the yellow right here that I'm Let's just try it on here. Now it has to be a little bit more muted. Um, I think that's kind of bright. But I could also take care of that with some of the gesso. That has more, let's try, this has more green in it, but. Yeah, that might be better. Yeah, I think that one is a little bit better. We'll use this one. And I'm just going to add I'm just going to blend that in like that with my finger just to and that just adds a little bit a little bit of dimension there. there. Maybe a little bit up in here. Okay. All right. That's good. I like that. So we're going to set this aside. And then I think what I will do is I'm going to add a little bit. I got to shake my gesso up here. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm just shaking it. There we go. And then I think I'm just going to put a little tiny bit just going to put a little bit on with my fingers. Okay. Get some of that off. And I'm just doing this haphazardly. Add a little 
little bit here and there. There. Okay, all right. And that's all I want to do there. I'm going to let this dry, all right, I'm, and then we'll come back. I'm going to add a back to it after I get all cleaned up, and then we will add our images. So I pulled another piece for the back, all right, and I'm going to set that aside. This is a little, <clears throat> it's a little uh, curled, but it's not bad. I can, I can work on this. So, uh, my mother was a huge stamp collector, and she had been collecting, oh gosh, ever since my, my brother was born, and my brother is going to be 76. Now, my mom, even up until probably a few years before she passed away, she would always have me, because she couldn't get to the post office, uh, she would have me get sheets for her of all the new stamps and such. So I just went through her. My brother has a very large collection of hers. I have a big collection. She split it up between the two of us. And I knew she had to have something. Uh, my, I, We've had family that has traveled the world. Uh, I've we've Mike Mike and I we've been a lot of different places like when I go to Italy or I always buy get some of their postage stamps well I was going through my mom's stuff and I found a stamp of everybody knows who this is and I made I put it on a piece of paper I copied it and because I didn't want to use the original and I then printed it out on some typewriter paper because I wanted this to be uh, a lighter shade. Um, but we just, my husband and I, and my girlfriend went to see the new Bob Marley movie yesterday and, or on Sunday, and it, it was phenomenal. So I thought that this, I wanted to make another little uh, mini Rolodex card for my collection. So I copied this and I'm going to use this. And I have, um, I have my kindness and peace washi tape. I want to use that. And then I have this washi tape, my walk by faith, grow in grace, live in love. I'd like to use that. And then I have this beautiful butterfly because to me, butterflies symbol, they're a symbol of freedom and new beginnings. So I wanted to use that. I'm going to cover up the Cuba because we, we know that, um, this is around Jamaica. So, and I have some sheet music here that I used in one of my other collections. I'd like to use that as well. So we're going to do a little collage here. And let's see, I'm just going to start with this, ripping some of this off. And I have always... I've always loved the music of uh, Bob Marley, so I thought this would just be perfect this week. So we're going to use this, and I think I will, I'm going to distress this, but I think I'm going to distress it in blue ink, possibly. have a weathered wood here which is kind of like a blue let's try it on this piece here I don't want to change out my I may have to change this out I've chipped sapphire that might be better might be more of a blue yeah we'll do that we'll use the this is chipped sapphire but yeah the movie theater was packed yesterday and where I'm actually we're lucky we got seats I didn't buy them online and when we got there there was just probably 10 seats left and I think we're gonna do this is the focal But 
we all really, really, really liked the movie, so. And I want to put it that way, because I want to cover up that Cuba. I really want to do a lot more with my stamps. I have so, so many stamps. that I want to work with and and I figure if I'm doing a scrapbook of my mom I want to use a lot of stamps that she has left me in there because they have such beautiful colors and but I don't want to use this one I I have a lot of these. If I have more than one, then I don't mind using the real deal, but I'm I'm funny about that. I, I don't like using the, the real ones for a lot of things. I want to keep them and then just pass them down. Pass them down to my boys as well because it's such a big, big, big collection. I'm just gonna try this without you. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ink it up. I don't like it inked up, and I just kind of want this to come like this. So it's represents his songs and and because I'm gonna back this here. I'm going to wrap this right around, all right, because I'm going to be putting another back on it. So we're going to wrap that around like that. I'm going to do the same with the, the washi tape. And I'm going to put this, let's see, I think I might put this first. down here like that. And again, I'm just going to wrap that. And then we are going to put, I'm going to put this up here. Gonna, I'm going to back that, and I'm going to get this all. I'm wondering. Now, if I didn't have that up there, I'd stitch around this. But let us, I'm wondering if, I think I'm going to get my, my, decoupage my deco glue I think I will well I don't know I, I guess I'll use this on it um, I'm just gonna smear this around I didn't realize, I mean, we went to Jamaica in 1991 for a week, and it was just after all of the unrest, and I didn't, I don't think my husband and I realized that. My my girlfriend out in Syracuse, her and her husband, they went to see 
the movie at 320 yesterday, and I told Linda, I says, call me, because we were, that's where we met our friends. We met them in Jamaica. We met them in Negril, Jamaica. They were on their honeymoon. We were on our seventh year anniversary, and, um, you know, we were just reminiscing about our time in Jamaica, and even Jimmy says, I didn't realize that it was right after all of the unrest. But when you went to, we went to Negril, and then we took a bus to Kingston for a day. Um, or no, not, we flew into Kingston, and then we um, took a tour, a bus to Ocho Rios. That was it. And when they told you, do not leave the compound, only if you are, everything was a gated community. And now I understand why there was armed, armed guards at the gates. We stayed at a Sandals resort. It was one of those all-inclusive resorts. And, I mean, I was young. Gosh, I was in my, I don't know, late 20s, mid-20s maybe, late 20s. And, uh, you know, it just didn't dawn on me. You know, back then, who wa nobody watched the news. There was no political, you know, the news was news. And it wasn't... I think CNN, CNN had come about, and that's when Ted Turner owned it, and that's when I think it was, fair news, they, they reported the news, no political junk. So, but I, I liked Jamaica. A little scary going from Kingston to Negril. But I really, I loved it. Really, really, really enjoyed it. That was a, those were the days where, you know, you really weren't afraid to travel and go anywhere. All right. And now we're going to do the mood because these are my mood cards. So I have walk by faith, grow in grace, live in love, kindness, and peace. So we on the back here, I'm going to make my little round just to give it a little definition, just something I do. And then we are going to the mood this week and every day throughout the year is what do we want? We all want peace, right? We just want peace. We want peace in the world. We want peace in our lives. We want peace amongst people. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to do this in the blue. P. Peace and love, but mostly we just want peace. All right, so there is my word for this week, peace. 
All right, everybody. I really and hope I really hope you enjoyed this week's um, mini Rolodex collage, and it just gives us all something to think about, doesn't it? All right. Thanks again, everybody, for joining in, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.